Sup y'all, bring you guys another video. Just bring you guys a quick post fight thoughts video of the Antoine Cobb versus Jalen Phillips fight. This fight was then took place over in Vegas in the undercard of the Shakur Stevenson versus Oscar Valdez fight. And uh, yeah, it was scheduled for four rounds. It went the whole four rounds and it ended up being a draw. <laughs> Uh, before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd uh, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, first things, it, it, it was a complete robbery. Uh, Jalen Phillips should have won this fight. It, it was, I don't know how the judges scored the draw. In fact, one judge had it 39-37 in favor of Antoine Cobb. It should have been the other way around. It should have been 39-37 in favor of Jalen Phillips. But the judges ended up giving it a draw. Um, I thought Cobb, he, he came out strong and aggressive. And I guess he was trying to look for the knockout and he couldn't get it. And I guess he tired himself out with all the, the power punches he was throwing. Because he, he kind of... You know his activity rate was kind of slow. His accurate, his accuracy wasn't really on point. He and Jalen Phillips remained accurate. He he became more active. Uh, he was outworking, outpointing. Um, Antoine Cobb and and Jalen Phillips should have definitely won this fight, but for whatever reason, somehow them judges gave it to Cobb. And that judge who scored it for Cobb, 39-37, bro, you have one of the best jobs ever, sitting ringside, watching some boxing, scoring a fight. Can't score a fight right. You only have one job. Come on, bro. 39-37, how can you score that in favor? Obviously, there's... there's <laughs> That's the thing, man. When it comes to like boxing, usually the A-side, especially in lower fights, in, in low-key fights... The A side usually, it ends up being controversial in favor of the A side. And that, unfortunately, that's the case here. Um, it's a learning experience for Cobb. Um, Jalen Phillips, he was pissed, man. He was pissed after the fight. Can't blame him. Can't blame him. And uh, with this draw, uh, Co uh, Antoine Cobb um, you know, gets his first draw. It was only his second pro fight. Um, looked great in his first fight, but... You know, you don't always get knockouts. And uh, I think he learned that the hard way with this fight. And as for Jalen Phillips, it's not the end of the world. 22 years old, still learning, still, you know, he's going to be around for a while. So uh, he shows a lot of promise, man. I think he just improve on your craft and um, he, you know, he'll get better. He's already been in there against some, you know, really good prospects. Uh, three in a row <laughs> fighting... Abdul and Mason and uh, Kyle Irwin and you know Antoine Cobb. Um, you know it's a learning experience for him, and hopefully uh, they don't rob him anymore. That's the hope, right? But um, but yeah, I, I think we're, we're we're definitely gonna see Phillips again. I'm sure we're gonna hear his name again. So yeah, Phillips should be two and two. That, <laughs> but that's a sport of boxing for you, man. It's sad. I mean, it's sad, and th th what's sad about it is that. You know, it's like it's normal. That's that's a thing. So, anyway, if you saw the fight, let me know what did you think. You can actually watch the whole event right now on ESPN Plus. I was at the Garden. I was at the Taylor Serrano fight. So I'm, I'm, you know, I'm catching up with my boxing. And uh, if you did see the fight, let me know your thoughts. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.